Hey boys and girls, it's Mrs. Walker. Today we're going to talk about problem solving and specifically finding information that is unknown. So our learning goal for today is I can solve word problems using a letter to represent the unknown. So friends, when they're saying just unknown, that's just a missing piece of information that you have to solve for in the problem. So let's say two plus four equals the unknown. Okay, because I don't know what 2 plus 4 equals. Oh, I have to answer that. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Okay, so 6 is the unknown. So the unknown is just the piece of the information that you're finding um, and solving for in the problem. So before we start our actual lesson today, I want to talk about RDW. RDW stands for read, draw, and write. So you're going to read the problem. You're going to draw a picture and you're going to write a sentence that answers the question. So for example, if I were talking about how I had two lollipops and then I bought four more lollipops, now I have a total of six lollipops. So the sentence would be, I have a total of six lollipops. Okay, so you're actually writing it in words. Okay, so you're going to be practicing that today as you're doing our lesson and as we're going into your problem set today. So RDW, read, draw, and write. Okay, so we're gonna talk about problem solving with unknown. So here we have a little chart on the bottom and it says Lena's family visits Little Tree Apple Orchard. Use the RDW process to solve the problems about Lena's visit to the orchard. Use a letter to represent the unknown in each problem. Okay, so you're going to be doing that in your problem set today. We're going to do the first part of your problem set together. And as we go through, we're going to talk about different strategies you can use to be able to solve this problem. Okay, so here's the first question. It says, Lena's family buys two adult tickets and two child tickets for the hayride. How much does it cost Lena's family to go on the hayride? So what I want you to do is use the information that's in the chart in the bottom corner. The adult's ticket is $7, the child ticket is $4, and the hay rides leave every 15 minutes starting at 11 o'clock. So I want you to use the RDW process to be able to come up with um, a drawing that matches this problem, and then I want you to label the unknown with a letter Okay, and then I want you to write it in a sentence what your answer is. So you're reading the problem again, you're drawing a model, and then you're writing a sentence to explain or to say what the answer is. And remember, the unknown piece of information in this problem is how much it costs Lena's family to ride to go on the hayride. So you would pick a letter to represent that in your equation. So picture. I want you to write an equation with an unknown, and I want you to write your answer in a sentence. So pause the video and do that, and then click play when you're ready to go over it together. Okay, friends, here's what I came up with. So I'm going to represent it first with a number bond. So here, C, I'm having my unknown, and I'm going to be represented by C because that's the cost of the tickets. So I picked C because C, to me, has to do with cost. Okay, you could have a different unknown, a letter, that's fine. I try and relate it back to the problem of what might make sense and what they're trying to figure out as the answer. Okay, so I know that there are two adult tickets, one, two, and two child tickets, so one, two. So I have my four different tickets. I'm gonna go back and label the parts of my number bond. So I have one adult ticket is $7, another adult ticket is $7, and the two child tickets are $4 each. So my number bond here is really representing my problem. Now I'm gonna come up with an equation. So here I have seven plus seven plus four plus four equals C. Remember that unknown is being represented by the C, which is the cost of the tickets. So now I know that seven plus seven is 14, plus four more is 18, plus four more is 22. So C equals 22. So now I can write this in a sentence of saying, it cost Lena's family $22 to go on the hayride. Now, did you guys draw a number bond to model your problem? Oh, some of you did, awesome. Oh, some of you did a different drawing, and that's okay too, I love it. And you might have chosen a different 
um, letter to represent the unknown, and that's okay too. As long as we're following the RDW for this lesson, you guys are going to do great. All right, here's another way you could solve it. I could use a tape diagram. So I could have my two $7 adult tickets and my two $4 adult or child tickets. I know that all of this together, I can represent it with a T for the cost of the tickets. Hmm. So see, for this problem, it's the same exact problem, friends. I'm just using a tape diagram and I'm representing the unknown as a T for tickets. Okay, so again, look at this way that I could solve it. Instead of using addition, I could do two times seven because there's two groups of seven and then there's two groups of four, so two times four. I know that I'm gonna get the same answer of 22, so T still equals 22. Write it in a sentence, same sentence. It costs Lena's family $22 to go on the hayride. So maybe you came up with using the tape diagram. If you did, awesome. All right, so here's another way that I came up with because I just thought this would be fun. Oh, here's a person. Here's one adult. Here's two adults. Here's a child and then another child. Okay, so all of these together represent the cost of the hayride. So for this one, I labeled it P for that's the price. Okay, so that was another one that made sense to me to be able to draw um, and write as my unknown. So the unknown in this problem is P. Now I'm gonna go back and I'm going to label these. So $7 for the adult, $7 for the other adult, and $4 for each child. I'm gonna use this one as the same multiplication problem. You can come up with a different one if you did. That's awesome, but notice how it's P is the unknown for the cost. P still equals 22, and my sentence is still going to be the same. So friends, notice in this lesson, we have one problem and I solved it three different ways. And there's even more. Maybe you came up with a different way. And how cool is that, that we can solve problems in different ways and use different strategies. Just make sure that you're reading the problem carefully to find out what it's asking you. You're drawing a model to represent the information in the problem. You're writing an equation and a sentence to explain your answer. And you're using the unknown, a letter to represent the unknown. So instead of using like a blank line, you know, sometimes you write like two plus four equals blank. Well, now you're just putting in a letter to represent that unknown. Okay. So high five to you guys. Awesome job problem solving using letters to represent the unknown and being able to use the RDW process. So high five, great work. Please head back on over to the module to see what you need to complete next for your independent practice. As always, if you have any questions, please let me know. I'd be more than happy to help. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Bye, friends.